all right fifth one they love death metal satanic music well i don't know there is no evidence about this but they do love music and they do love concept of religiosity spirituality they love having intellectual discussion mm, example would be joe carroll for religiosity hannibal lecter and will graham james moriarty and sherlock holmes for intellectual conversations all right sixth one do they like killing people or hurting them like in the movies no that's not even remotely true just because they lack empathy that doesn't mean they become a cold blooded murderer with an axe many learned and adapt to the social right and wrong at a young age seventh one they cannot feel others emotions hmm well yes they can't feel your emotions but they can understand that you are sad afraid and happy they can provide comfort and they can attempt empathy empathy is something that they don't understand if they have a good parenting they can learn at a really engage how to respond to others emotions all right eighth one all psychopaths are violent criminals no not at all from my criminology background best thing i learned about psychopathy in one line is not all psychopaths are criminals and not all criminals are psychopaths let me repeat that not all psychopaths are criminals and not all criminals are psychopaths most criminal behind bars are for various reasons psychopathy is just one of them that's it most research done on the psychopaths are done on men in prison or in forensic hospitals so everything you are going to hear is going to come from a criminal number 9 do psychopaths feel love and can they feel attraction hmm love no attraction yes well they can love but not the way you think in psychology we use the term cognitive love they can provide you money food shelter comfort they make conscious efforts they see friendship as a mutual investment so yeah there will be no emotional roller coasters if you want to know more click the next video